everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about if you are noticing little yellow somethings on your oleander and you're not sure if these are bugs, if this is an infestation, well, I did a really simple Google search and I went on YouTube and I found not only information on what this is, some information on how to treat this both naturally, both chemically, hands-on, letting nature take care of this aggressively, not so aggressively. So we have a lot of options and so we're going to jump straight into everything. So first of all, with oleander, as you may already know, this is a very common poisonous plant that most people own. And oftentimes, if you do own oleander, you want to be careful that your dogs, that your kids aren't messing with your oleander as it's poisonous. Because it is poisonous, oftentimes I would never see bugs or anything going on with our oleander. Oleander, as you can tell, when it's in a healthy state, should be a really bright and vivid green oftentimes with pink or fuchsia, fuchsia reddish pink flowers, and I do believe the flowers come in other colors other than pink or red or fuchsia. So, if you're having this problem, is this a disease? Is this an infestation? My immediate assumption was that this was a disease. It is not a disease. This is, in fact, an infestation of scale or oleander aphids and or mealy bugs, according to a simple Google search. Because oleander are not indigenous to the Americas, scale or oleander aphids are not native to America, but they came over obviously when oleander was brought over and scale or oleander aphids and or mealybugs quickly found a host plant in addition to the oleander, but they oftentimes will also host or attached to the common milk weed, as it is a very common or similar and viable host. So now that we know what's going on, we know that this is not a disease that our plant is ha having, that this is an infestation of bugs. Now let's address how to treat this. So if you wanted nature to kind of play out and you don't want to take matters into your own hands, bugs such as ladybugs or those good tiny parasitic wasps do eat these scale or oleander aphids, but if you want to take a more hands-on approach, you could simply, you could run some water, oops, sorry about that, you could run some water and simply hose them off. So oftentimes when I'm dealing with aphids, it is because they are on our rose bush, and usually when I find aphids on our rose bush, I will just take the hose and I will wash them off. And typically, this will resolve the problem for hours, sometimes even a day or two. So if you want a more hands-on approach, you could purchase some insecticide, but unfortunately, the insecticide that is recommended for treating this isn't readily available or even legal in all states. So I have a few more options for you and we're going to get down to brass tacks and we're going to address this problem. So in addition to doing a really simple Google search, yellow bugs on my oleander, and I came across that this is a really common problem known as scale or oleander aphids or mealybugs, and that this generally isn't a problem for healthy oleander. However, if your oleander is compromised, old, young, not in the greatest condition, a full-blown infestation may just be the thing that could full-out kill your oleander. So here at our house, we have four really healthy oleander, but amongst our four oleander, two of our plants are now infested, so this is what we're going to do to treat it. So I was watching some great videos on YouTube by Plant Naturalist and by Plants and Things. Plant Naturalist had a really great video on some on the information regarding the scale or the aphids. And then Plants and Things is what inspired this, I guess, tutorial. So what you will need to treat 
your oleander and then get rid of the scale or the aphids, you will need some rubbing alcohol, you will need a plastic container, a Q-tip, and or a cotton round, and I took it a step above and beyond, and I grabbed a really simple, clean, oh my gosh, a clean spritz bottle that I poured some rubbing alcohol into. So now that we have all the tools that we need, let's jump into it. Oh my goodness. I also wanted to say, you guys, so typically in a healthy oleander plant, your plant will be a bright, vivid green. But if you have anything going on with your oleanders, such as bad health, too much water, not enough water, bad location, you will typically see leaves yellowing and then dropping off and dying. So in this case, oh my goodness, the aphids struck again. So when they are attaching to your leaves and feeding, oftentimes they will disrupt the growth of new leaves as they tend to latch on to the top and feed on the tender new growth. So when you're seeing yellowing leaves down there, that may be a sign that the scale or the aphids have been a problem for a minute and have disrupted the health of your oleander leaves so much so that they have yellowed, fallen, fallen off, and died. So I will put that to the side and throw it away. Because oleander is poisonous, unfortunately you cannot compost your oleander. You can't burn it as this plant is so poisonous, the poison noxious fumes may harm you and any of any around you so this is not good for compost it is not good for burning we must simply throw it away so with all of that being said to start everything off I have my cotton round and my q-tip soaking in my alcohol unfortunately I've had to film this video several times so my alcohol is actually stained with and this sounds so gruesome with the bodies of many of the aphids but you gotta do what you gotta do to take care of this problem before a full-blown infestation sets in. So, as we can see, we have some aphids or scale over here. We have some over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my spritz bottle full of alcohol, and I'm going to liberally spritz both sides of anywhere where I see an infestation. So after going in and spritzing, we're going to get our q-tip and I'm going to follow on the top side and the bottom side of every leaf where I see the aphids but because they are so sticky and they're so abundant and numerous my preferred method is to take a cotton round and go on in and squish them and pick them up wiping on both sides of the leaf. So again, here's this, and we're going to get our cotton round. I'm going to get my finger and pull, wiping, squishing, and picking up all of those awful little sticky aphids or scale. So typically, the oleander is a very hardy plant. And typically, like I said, in a healthy oleander, scale or aphids or oleander aphids aren't the biggest problem.